G'day ladies and gentlemen, you've guessed it, it's that time of the year, turn your cap around because things are going to get messy very soon. It's renovation time. Right guys, so in this video I will be scalping this Kukuyu lawn of mine, which is looking a little bit patchy because we did that irrigation pipe laying and whatever, still plenty of videos coming on that. But to be 100% honest with you, the parts that I didn't damage just before winter is still looking kind of green it's still looking kind of okay and why is that because we've had a freezing winter it's quite weird however every evening that was let's say below zero minus four minus three minus two which is kind of cold for this specific area had cloud coverage and that kind of kept the frost away so that kept the color going not necessarily growth because it was so cold but it definitely kept some color in this lawn However, the entire purpose of this video and this, this exercise, scalping this lawn, is taking every single leaf blade off of this Kikuyu lawn to make space for new growth. You might feel that this step is just a little bit too much effort and I'm turning my cap around because you need to kind of get a grin on your face, you kind of get to become a little bit savage here Owens because it gets messy. Every year I'm like, no, I'm going to be you know, gentle, it's going to be a glorious, it's not. It's lelak Owens, it kind of gets lelak very quickly. I'm gonna go with that Rolux. I feel sorry for this poor thing. It's still kind of brand new. Let's, we'll see how this launch and engine keeps up with this savage mow. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do about two passes, then it will start bogging up. Then we might see equipment like the YT6702 Scarifier slash Verticutter, but let's just get in with it, on with it, in with, on with it and see how we go. Let's see how far, how much we can take off before we need alternative equipment, you know. Do you need a, a rotary mower? Not necessarily. Do you need a real mower, cylinder mower? Not necessarily. Take the oldest thing that you've got with a bluntest blade, because like I say, you will probably ding, ding the blade, you will probably cut into some lelike goed. Let's just, I'm just gonna stop talking. Let's just start mowing. How low do I want to go? Who knows, maybe like soil level, maybe like minus 10, minus 20. <laughs> Starting to properly eat into the grass here. Now guys, so that's going to wrap it up for today. Tomorrow is another day. Will I finish tomorrow? I'm not convinced. But I've made some progress at least. I've done about uh, four passes. I'm at the lower setting of that um, mower. I've got one issue, some of the areas, which is luckily not the thickest areas, the thickest areas is scalping beautifully. Some of those areas, it's not low enough to cut into it. Then we're going to come through with a scarifier, lift those grass up and cut it off once. This is the amount of clippings that I came up with. I'm actually busy renovating my trailer as well, but that's a very slow progress. But look at the amount of clipping zones. The next day. Right, Mesa, so it's the next morning. I've got the scarifier out with the verticutting blades. Let me just show you there. So I've got the verticutting blades on there. Oh, that's looking good guys check there so it's really pulling up the grass here and I'm almost 100% sure when I come over this with a mower now it'll be way easier to chop a lot of it off
go and so that thing has taken off a whole heap of stuff I'm just gonna leave that machine to rest for a few minutes but let me just show you what I've come up with like honestly the areas that you focus on just check this guys that is I'm gonna bring the Rolex through here now at quite a high setting and try and pick up these clippings or cuttings but it's properly cutting like runners off just have a look at that and while that might increase the time that it takes to repair, that's really what thickens up this lawn. The runners are running over each other and creating kind of layers of grass. Samoans, I am taking off heaps of grass. Time for a breather, nothing like a little bit of unleaded Sprite. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go have a go again with a YT6702 Verticutter. And I'm gonna do the top third of that lawn, uh, of this lawn, um, and then see if I can finish that. Guys, I absolutely hate to do this to this machine, but I'm telling you, it's made such a big difference up to this point. It's creating so much more suction than my old, less powerful rotary mowers. Really throws the clippings all the way back into the basket, so I'm really getting full baskets of grass off. Um, it's still tough, don't get me wrong, uh, but I must say that this new mower with a strong engine like this, the Launchin 196, it's just been a dream. The next day. Right guys, so that wraps up the scalping. Let me show you the results that I came up with. Um, and it's quite staggering, I must be honest with you. So I think that Rolex mower goes down to roughly 20 mils, um, which is not completely lo low enough. But luckily what happens is the lowest areas is not the thickest areas. So it does scalp all the thickest areas. And what I, what I can pick up is that this area right here is very thick and it's kind of thick throughout that area and then around to that area so that scalps first and it scalps the easiest and i must be honest with you this this year went a lot easier with a little bit stronger engine hey but mock it with a little bit stronger engine on that mower um arguably a little bit sharper blade and that thing just worked so much better it was still a tough job it took me uh three days probably around seven to eight passes with a mower including two scarifying passes at negative 10 mils i think it's 10 mils on the scarifier so lifting up the runners chopping them off and these are my results zones so this was one of the thinnest areas or the lowest areas where i couldn't get the mower to scalp all the way because the grass was sitting at probably around uh, or the crowns were sitting around 15 mils so you can't get that mower to cut into the crown um, Obviously, I want to do a video in the future where we adjust the height of the blade. I'm not 100% sure if I'll succeed in that of the rotary blade. Um, then drop it down, you know, lower to the wheel level to try and get to cut it a little bit lower. But this is more than sufficient. Just have a look at this. I've got exposed 
soil absolutely everywhere and now when we put through put put sand on this it's not going to take a whole lot of working in because everywhere is exposed soil it's going to fall through this grass very easily yeah guys so that's going to wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video a like there even a subscribe i promise you will not be disappointed plenty of videos to come the next one will probably be top dress oh no maybe spiking um, and then a top dress maybe even in the same video who knows I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.